Hello, I'm Juanita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. We begin with a local family's quest to protect young children. After their grandson was severely injured, a Fresno couple worked for years to get a law passed which would hand down harsher punishment for child abusers. Their persistence has finally paid off. It's been a long journey for the family of Adam Carbajal of Fresno. The victim of child abuse, seven-year-old Adam can't walk, nor can he talk. Adam's grandparents, Alfredo and Maria Garcia, were instrumental in the passage of Adam's Law, designed to create harsher penalties for anyone that causes physical harm to a child under age eight, resulting in permanent injury or disability. For three years, we went to Sacramento and we testified before the committees, uh, the, the, the assembly and Senate committees, and, uh, and the third year, we were successful. Their story begins in 2004, a day after Adam's first birthday. He was injured by his mother's then-boyfriend. Ramon Cudiel shook him violently, leaving him brain-damaged and paralyzed on his right side. Cudiel was offered a plea deal and would have been out of prison in three years or less. But Alfredo and Maria appealed to the judge, asking for a tougher sentence. We were able to increase it the, when the judge saw our video, um, a lot of letters that were written in support of him pulling the plea deal, he, he did, and he gave him uh, 10 years in prison. But with uh, time, credit for time served, he, he's, he's going to be out in seven and a half. So he'll be out in January of 2015. Before Adam's Law, the sentence for child abuse was two to six years in prison. And for cases that resulted in death, 25 years to life. You could go from arguably a rug burn, so what you could call in and say there's child abuse, to anything just short of a child dying was considered the same crime. And so that was what we were trying to rectify. Hoping to get a law passed that would increase the sentence for Cudiel, Alfredo and Maria teamed up with then Valley Assemblyman Mike Valines in 2008. Uh, it just struck me how important it was to take care of those that are the most, um, or need the most defense. You know, those that are defenseless many times are our kids. And uh, the loophole in the law needed to be corrected. It was during their talks with Felines they learned a new law would not change Cudiel's sentence. He goes, we're in for a fight. You know that we're in for a fight. And I said, I know. I'm ready for that fight. You know, I was, I was ready for it. But he says, um, even if we become successful, you know it's not going to affect Adam. So that kind of threw me off. So I was like, wait a minute, what do you mean it's not going to affect Adam? This is because of Adam. Advocates for the awareness and prevention of shaken baby syndrome, Alfredo and Maria decided to move forward anyway. My wife is the one that said, you know, we, we have to continue this. We, we have to try to change this law because one thing we found out when Adam was critical at Children's Hospital was that this injury is so common. And, you know, for the children that do survive, you know, we need for justice to be there for them. Mike Valines authored the bill and lobbied for it several times. But lawmakers rejected it because of concerns over budgetary issues and prison overcrowding. So each year we made progress and then we would hold the bill and start the next year and had to build new relationships. But the family was willing to come up every time um, and they did it. And Adam came up every time and was there and was, we were in testifying. Their persistence paid off. A revised version of the bill was signed into law in September of 2010 by then-Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. It went into effect in January 2011. Adams' law makes the penalty for child abuse seven years to life for anyone who causes physical harm to a child under the age of eight, resulting in permanent injury or disability. Bittersweet. You know, I mean, if, after three years plus of, of fighting for this to happen, you know, it was, uh, 
it was good to see that you know he finally realized uh, the legislature realized uh, you know what, what we've been saying you know that you know the law has to be in place to protect the children you know but at the same time it wasn't going to affect Ramon Curiel and Adam's condition is still still the same you know there's a point that he's going to be too heavy for me to even put his shirt on you know even put his diaper on and that scares me and it makes me very very sad there is a sense of accomplishment for Adam's family knowing that other families will not have to fight that fight and then I and grab papas had him and I hugged him and I said papas we did it we did it you know to find out more about Adam's Law and Shaken Baby Syndrome, visit our website, log on to valleypbs.org, and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.